Eastern forehand. Western forehand. Which one's better? Let's talk about it. Guys, I think many of us, um, we, we get to a stage in our career where we're unsure of which forehand grip is better, the, forehand, the, the Eastern forehand grip or the Western forehand grip. And uh, the, unfortunately, there's no straight answer to that. And um, it depends. If you stay tuned till the end of the video, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you what I think. But before we do that, I just want to show you exactly all the pros and the cons between the Eastern and the Western. Okay, the first thing we're going to talk about is um, why the Eastern forehand, uh, you can get away with contacting the ball a little bit late. Okay, so I also mentioned this on some of my other videos. With the Eastern grip, if you contact the ball late by mistake, you can get away with it. Okay, because there's more room, you can use your wrist a bit more. So if it's late, you can somehow, you can find a way to use your wrist, still get it in, okay? But now, talking about the Western, the con is with the Western, if you hit the ball late, it's close to impossible to find a way to get that ball over still. So if I drop this ball behind me, chances of me getting that, getting that over, it's almost impossible. Change to Eastern, I can flick it over, okay? That's the first step. The late ball with the Eastern, you can get away with it. The Western, you can't get away with it. Okay, tip number two to consider. The, the Western grip is easier on the high ball. Okay, it's a lot more natural. That's why you'll watch a lot of baseline players. They have a full Western grip. Think about Nadal, because the ball comes high and they can just hit back up, okay? The high ball with the Eastern becomes a little bit harder because you can hit it flat. It's also a lot easier to hit it down, okay? So if I give you a demo, uh, with the very high ball with the Eastern, I can get away with it, but it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard for, to get that ball back down and let it spin. Turn to Western. The high ball becomes natural. I can swing up. Wait, that was a bit low. I want to not be biased about this. Do it the same as the Eastern. But with my Western, it's a lot more natural on the high ball. That's why you'll watch a lot of uh, young players. When they're still short, the ball comes very high they gravitate to the western, the western grip because then the high ball becomes easy, okay? But let's move on to the next step, what happens with the low ball. And so it's not rocket science that the eastern grip is obviously more favorable on the low ball, just because it's more natural on the low ball. You can even look at the hand, the strings, everything just works comfortably on the low ball, okay? I don't have to bend my leg so much, but on the low ball when it comes to the western, if I don't bend my legs, to go down okay so if you use a western grip on the low ball you must get down as much as possible okay that's why you'll notice um, clever players when they play someone with a full western grip they're going to slice that ball low so that that player finds it hard to lift it okay so the point is on the low ball eastern grip will be more beneficial the low ball the western grip will be harder let's move on Guys, this one you might not agree with me, but I'm open to discuss it. Let me know in the comment if you don't agree. Maybe we can talk about it. But I feel like when it comes to the passing shot, the Western forehand grip is the stronger one. The reason being, what makes a good passing shot? A good passing shot makes it when you can dip it on the opponent's feet. So with a Western grip, it's easier to do that, to get on the feet. Also easier to go over the head because then you can spin the ball more. It's going to dip down. Also, you'll notice a lot of times uh, players with Eastern grips, uh, sorry, not Eastern, with Western grips, they don't plan it, but they pass a player. They pass a player simply because they by accident hit the ball high, but then it came down. And then they more or less hit it over the player because it happens so quick. Um, Eastern grip, you can pass a player, but the reason why I believe the Western grip um, is going to win this argument is because with the eastern grip if you're moving on on the wide ball and you're not federer you're just the average player you are going to lift the ball okay you're going to hit the ball and it's going to spend more time in the air before it starts dipping down okay yes you can spin it but it's not as natural and the more time the ball spends in the air before it starts dipping down 
the easier the guy can just step in and put the volley away, okay? So in my opinion, the Western grip, it's a little bit easier to pass a player, get the ball to dip down. If you look at that against the Eastern, you can pass the player, but it's gonna be more flat. The, more, the ball has more time in the air so the player can volley it easier. My opinion, let's move on. And let's talk about this one. I know you guys probably know this already, but I have to put it in here. Um, which one is more beneficial when it comes to topspin? Okay, ties into the previous step. Western grip, obviously, if you do it right, if you have a nice big rotation, you're gonna get a lot more topspin than the Eastern. There's the Eastern. Yes, I can still spin it, but the ball is a lot more flat, okay? Topspin, Western grip always wins. All right, agree with me or not, again, uh, up to you. But I feel like the Eastern grip wins the flat shot every time. For me, personally, it's so much easier, especially inside out or wherever you want it, to flatten the ball out with the Eastern grip. It's one of my favorite shots to flatten the ball out when you need it. Eastern grip will always win the battle when it comes to the flat forehand. Now, let me try, I'm honestly gonna try and hit it flat with the Western, but it's not gonna be as easy. So how do you hit the ball flat with the Western? It's very hard unless, unless you time it correctly. I can't even, can't even get it, okay? One more Eastern flat for you guys around the ball. Eastern wins the battle when it comes to the flat forehand. Follow me a little bit closer. Yes, the year's one where, honestly, I'm gonna say it's debatable. Maybe some of you can let me know what you think. But the short, the short ball coming to the net, okay? The first thing my mind wants to tell me is that the Eastern is the better one because it's more flat. It's easier to hit a ball down the line maybe. And, um, you know, I can just hit the ball flat down the line, follow the ball, okay? So it looks like, it feels like, the Eastern should be easier on the short ball down the line because it's more linear swing, it's more a forward swing, and uh, it's more a type of shot that you can hit uh, and follow the ball forward. Um, but let's talk about the Western coming forward. What are the benefits there? The benefits with the Western, if you can get there early enough, you can spin the ball more, which means you can have more racket edge speed, you can have more, so you can swing harder through the ball and still get it in. Um, if, you, if you get it right and it goes deep enough, the player is going to be under pressure with all the spin. Um, so for me, that's debatable. If I had to put money on it, the short approaching ball, I would say maybe the Eastern is the better one. But I've, I've seen many players, I'm sure you as well have seen many players with the Western grip that can also attack the net very well using a lot of spin. So that one is debatable. Okay, guys, let's talk about the return of serve. Which one's better? <laughs> um, I would say, again, you're looking at Eastern because if you look at what makes a good return of serve, it's obviously after the split step, after the split step, you should be able to have a short backswing, long follow through, okay? Especially when the serve, if the serve comes very, very fast, very quick, if I can just do this, so I always tell my players, it's a short backswing, long follow through it's like a long volley you don't have time to do anything else okay now the problem with the full western on the return of serve if you want to try and take that serve early it's going to be very hard because the full western requires a big turn if you have a short turn on the full western you're going to have no power with the eastern you can get away with it and punt it okay um, in my opinion that's why players with western grips they stand further back on the return of serve, so they have time for the big swing, okay? If you look at Andre Agassi, one of the best returners of all time, um, Federer, I'm just talking about reaction time, they've got Eastern grips, so they can react a lot quicker and punt the ball on the big serve. Maybe, maybe the Eastern wins there, but it's very, very debatable, okay guys? Now, stay tuned, let's talk about which one should you use. This is what I would say, guys, number one, always think about which one feels more comfortable, okay? Don't try and force a Western if you feel more comfortable with the Eastern. Don't try and force a Eastern if you feel more comfortable with the Western, okay? I know you were probably looking for a straight answer. Unfortunately, they, 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 I mean, you won't find a straight answer. You gotta think about everything surrounding the grips, what you're talking about. If you are an aggressive baseliner, you, or you like to attack from the back and go forward, and you need some flat balls, 
maybe the Eastern. If you are an aggressive counter puncher or aggressive baseliner like Nadal, and you want to work the player side to side and you want to be able to hit good passing shots, maybe the Western is better for you. If you have a big swing, very big swing, maybe the Western is better for you. If you have a more linear swing, maybe the Eastern is better for you. If you like to play open stance more often than not, maybe the Western is better for you. If you have a very brilliant close stance, short ball, maybe the Eastern is better. I hope that helps you guys. Remember in tennis, don't overthink it. Uh, you got to do what feels natural. That's always the most important. Uh, if you guys want more tips or two, two mistakes that players really make on their Eastern forehand grip, watch this video right here. And remember guys, you can really support me by simply just liking this video and subscribing to my channel. Thank you.